Good morning. I'm Pastor Jeff Gausted, Interim Pastor of Mount Cross Lutheran. Our scripture reading for this fourth Monday of Easter is the second reading for this past Sunday, yesterday, from the third chapter of 1 John, beginning in the 16th verse. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before God whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and God knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God. And we receive from God whatever we ask, because we obey God's commandments and do what pleases God. And this is God's commandment, that we should believe in the name of God's Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this, we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us. Holy word, holy wisdom. Thanks be to God. A young couple fell in love in a very unique way. They'd been corresponding by mail for a very long time. And through their letters, they fell in love with one another. What made it was so special was the fact that they did not exchange pictures and so it truly was a mutual love of a person. They finally decided that it was time that for them to meet each other, and they developed a plan by which they would meet at the airport. She said that she could be recognized because she would wear a green scarf, a green hat, and a green carnation pinned on her coat. When the day arrived, the man got off the airplane and went directly to the baggage claim where they had agreed to meet. Even coming down the escalator, the man began searching for the woman in green. 
It didn't take him long to spot a woman wearing a green scarf and a green hat and a green carnation. However, it didn't take long either for him to realize how very unattractive this woman was. She was one of the worst-looking women that he had ever seen. He didn't know what to do next. Should he go over and talk to the woman, or should he get back on the airplane and not make his presence known? He felt obliged to at least speak to her. So he walked over and greeted the woman and told her his name. The woman instantly barked at him and said, I don't know what this is all about, and I certainly don't know you. She explained it all by saying, that woman over there paid me $50 to wear this hat and scarf and carnation. And when he looked over to see who had paid the $50, he saw one of the most beautiful women he had ever seen. When the two loving pen pals were able to speak, she explained that all her life men had wanted to be with her just because of her looks. She wanted someone who would love her just for who she was, in total. Too often we want proof before we will risk love. So much of the time our love is conditional. When John writes, little children let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action, John is urging and admonishing us to love unconditionally, just as Christ Jesus loves us just as we are, without condition or reservation, no matter how lovely or unlovely we may see ourselves. Jesus always sees us as the most beautiful of creatures, because that's the way true love always sees its beloved. Let us pray. O God, rich in mercy, full of kindness, out of your great and steadfast love, you raise us up from sin and death and make us alive together with Christ. Write your word upon our hearts and restore in us the image of your love that by your spirit, our way of life may become the way of Christ, whom, through whom we pray. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you've protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask it to preserve and keep us this day also from all sin and evil, that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds we may serve and please you. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for sharing this time together. May your day and all the days of this Easter season be filled with hope, faith, and love. Christ love. Go with this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. I'll see you again one more time on Wednesday. God bless.